Hi everyone, I'm Roya Rastegar, the Director of Programming for the LA Film Festival, and we are here to talk about the World Cinema section. Heist is a French film, it's by a young woman, I think she's 25, who amazingly never went to film school, but has produced an extremely complicated, poetic vision of what it is to be a young French person today. A moving Image is a docudrama. It's a fictional film. It's, it's a multimedia film about a young performance artist who is making a piece about gentrification in her South London neighborhood of Brixton. I don't think I've ever seen such a smart, complex, and full consideration and reflection on gentrification as a process. Well, Play the Devil is this film from Trinidad and Tobago, which is a country you don't really hear much about in terms of filmmaking. It's uh, a film about this young man who wants to be a photographer and at the same time is waiting to be accepted into a medical school. And he gets um, seduced by this rich gentleman into this sort of uh, almost trying to be a benefactor. This is probably one of my favorites from the whole lineup. And Maria Govan, the director, this is her second film. I think she is a true auteur, and I'm really, really excited to just see every film that she makes. London Town is probably one of the most accessible films in the world section. It's a coming of age story set in the 80s, and a young boy is given an album by his mo from his mother of The Clash, which completely changes his, his, his world view. The thing about this film is just the connection of like what we make with music I and mean, we think about what songs impacted us at the time when we were discovering ourselves. Lupi Anderson is his first fiction feature. It's a um, very personal portrait of his grandfather. It's very poetically photographed. His grandfather is, is at the end of his life He's a migrant farm worker. He's gotten sick and he wants to return to Mexico where he hasn't been in 20 years. It's one of the most personal and, and, and beautifully rendered films in the entire film festival, I think. Like Cotton Twines is a film directed by Layla Jancy. The film is about a young African-American teacher who goes to Ghana and tries to save one of his students from a cultural practice. And it brings up all these kinds of questions of um, the imposition of Western morals onto other cultures, uh, but it does it in a very complicated and, uh, and bold way. So it was pretty provocative. What we were trying to do with World Cinema this year is really look for independent voices from around the world and emerging voices, so voices that are trying to say something and say something different and upturn your expectations, what you would imagine about a film from whatever the country is. I'm a real believer in movies are moments in time and if you had different money or different people it would be different but it is what it is and you have to really get on the boat and this is the boat that you have to cross this particular river at this particular moment in time and you just have to go with it.